So you downloaded Football Manager 26, applied your favourite face pack, and when you go in game to find a wonder kid that you want to sign, you realise that their face isn't part of the face pack that you have downloaded. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add individual faces to an existing face pack so you can have all of the Wonder Kid faces in FM26. Okay, I have now fired up FM26, gone into my existing save, and I'm going to use Reggie Walsh of Chelsea as my example. I use the Sort It Out Sci Cut Out Face Pack, which features thousands of real world footballer faces. But of course, when new games are released and there are new young players that are in the game, they cannot always keep it up to date for games release. So what I'm going to do is show you how you can add Reggie Walsh's face to the game and any other wonder kid that you find that does not have their face in the game. So the first thing you need to do is when you go into the game, when you go into the preferences, you will be able to display the player's IDs. It's important that you turn this on so you know what the idea of the player is that we are going to apply the face to. So in this case, Reggie Walsh, his ID is 2004762255. Now it's important to note this down. We're going to need to write it down because you cannot copy them like you could in FM24. So for this, just jot that ID down. The next thing we're going to do is do a simple Google search to find Reggie Walsh's face, and I'll show you how you get it in the game. OK, for the next step, we are going to simply open up a brand new browser tab and we are going to go to Google. Once you're at Google, simply type in Reggie Walsh Chelsea PNG and look for the picture that you want. At this point, it is important to note that I'm working with PNG files because I know that Football Manager accepts them. It may also accept WebP files, but I'm not 100% sure with those. So if you can get that to work, that is brilliant. If not, PNGs are the best thing to use. Also, if you use a different face pack to the one that I use, maybe DF11, they have a different background style. You may have to find a image that is similar to those, or you can try and create your own. For this video, I'm using Sort It Out Size Face Pack. So we're going to go with the cutout face. You can see I've found the one that I'm going to use in the top right hand corner. So I'm simply going to right click. I am going to go to Save Image As. And then we're going to go to Documents, Sports Interactive, Football Manager 26, Graphics, Faces, and Faces. You will see that all of the faces inside the existing face pack will show up. And all we have to do is relabel that image as 20004762255 and hit enter. Once that is saved, there is another step that we need to do to get that face into the game. Okay, for the next step, what you're going to need to do is go and find your face pack. So once again, it should be in Documents, Sports Interactive, Football Manager 26, Graphics, Faces, Faces. That is my default directory for where I put the Sort It Out Sci cutout face pack. The next thing we need to do is find this config file down at the bottom here. Now, it's very important at this point that you back this file up. We're about to edit a file that controls your entire face pack. If you mess this up, you will lose all of the faces and you may not be able to get them back if you do not back this file up. I will say it again, back this file up. Right then, as you've done that, let's jump in to this config file and show you how to edit it. So we are going to right click and we are going to go edit in notepad. It's important that it is in Notepad. Once you open that up, you are going to see this screen here. Now, it's got lots and lots of lines of code. You don't need to really worry about too many of them. You need to simply follow this step. So we are going to highlight one single line of code, and we are going from the arrows to the arrows. So the left arrow to the right arrow. We are then going to Control C to copy that. Click at the end of the right arrow and press Enter and press Control V to paste that back in. So now we have a new line of code in that XML file to tell the game there is another face we are adding to the game. So we now need to edit these two numbers within the quotation marks and the slashes. So the first thing we're going to do is go to here and highlight that entire number. And then we are going to type in Reggie Walsh's ID. So 20004762255. We then go to the end where the slashes are 
and we highlight that as well. And we go to 00047625. Once you've done that, you hit file and you hit save, and then you close that file. Once that's done, you need to close Football Manager down completely. If you're doing this whilst the game is open, like I did, we need to close the game completely. It is different to FM24. There is no caching. There is no reloading in the game. The only way to get these faces to appear is to close the entire game down and restart it. So let's do that and jump into Football Manager. OK, once we have closed the game down and reopened it, I've now reloaded my save game. And as you can see, we have successfully added Reggie Walsh's face to our face pack. The good news with this is you can go through as many players as you like. Yes, it is a bit time consuming, but if you have a face pack with a player that you really want to be in the game and they are missing, you can just simply manually add all the players that you want to complete your squad so you can see the players that you are selecting. Right then, if you have found today's video helpful, please, please like the video to help this get out to other people and subscribe to the channel so you can check out all of the other FM26 content that is coming across the game cycle.